Hey there, this is Vanessa DeBerlay and I want to talk about five tips that will help you grow your channel. These are five tips that I actually I'm sharing it to you from Roberto Blake. Roberto Blake is a YouTuber that I've been following and he's really knowledgeable on YouTube and different ways to help you grow your channel, your audience and things like that. So I highly recommend that you also look him up, Roberto Blake, and get some tips from him as well. But I'm going to share five tips that he shared with me and since you may be watching me and not him. But um, number one, you want to make sure that you use thumbnails when you make a video. You want to make sure that you don't just post your picture or one of the different thumbnails that YouTube picks out. You want to pick one out yourself and make sure it's attractive, eye-catching, and something that if you're up against other people doing the same topic that people are going to choose your video because of that thumbnail. People are very visual. You might want to analyze which thumbnails of your own seem to be getting more hits. Maybe you're, you've are you used certain colors and you're noticing those are the top ones. So do analyze yourself and what you're doing. Um, compare yourself to yourself, if that makes sense as well. Um, there are analytics that um, YouTube provides that you can use, but you also want to, but they don't really um, provide analytics on your visual thumbnail per se. So you're going to have to make those determinations. Number two, when you're making a YouTube video in the beginning, don't worry about quality as much as quantity. Most of your videos in the beginning are not going to be seen by a lot of people. That's just the way it goes. You're not, nobody knows about you yet. And what you're building up right now is content. You're producing every single day. Definitely, and that's quantity. If you're only producing twice a week, double it, get up to four. I was told um, by Russell Brunson to find a platform and produce every day. Find your voice so that people can find you and they know that you're out producing content that's of value to them. So my goal with YouTube has been to post a video every single day and, and each day it grows. And don't worry about the quality as much. I know a lot of people will tell you to go out and get certain cameras and certain microphones and things like that. If you want to, that's fine. I actually even made a video about some of the equipment that I use, but I use the basics. I found that my laptop camera and microphone did not give me the quality that I wanted there it did have it did sound scratchy and it wasn't very good quality so I did replace those things but again if your camera quality looks fine with the laptop camera or you're using your phone and it's it's good enough then don't worry about buying something else so we're going for quantity and not quality at this point don't worry about getting music added in or other little you know um, breaks and things like that um, just keep producing here in the beginning. Number three, be ruthless with your time. Make sure that you write down your goals for the day and get them done. Don't let anything um, disrupt you. If you have a project that you're working on, whether um, if it's a certain, maybe a series that you're doing with videos, put a deadline. Uh, make yourself hit that deadline. Treat it like a business and it will be it'll pay out like a business. But if you just do it um, anytime you feel like it and you're not really ruthless with that time, it's going to be more of a hobby and it's not going to make money for you. Number four, use content strategy. A lot of people, and I've done it, I'm guilty of the same thing, but sometimes when we make a video, we tend to want to just make a video of something we have an interest in. And that's okay. I, I have to say sometimes if you want to do that, that's fine. But overall, make sure you're paying attention to what people are looking for and what they want. And then you're going to be searched and you're going to be seen. Um, again, maybe here and there, you might want to make one because it's of interest, but don't expect that to be profitable for you if you do it all the time. Last but not least, number five, the fifth tip is engage with the community. Yes, if people are making comments on your videos, you want to engage and make comments back and create that relationship. But you also want to connect with people in your community. Now, right away, people are going to say, well, I want to look up um, if you're in the industry for network marketing. A lot of people might say, well, I want to look up Eric Warhe and I want to get in his community. And that's fine, but you're probably not going to connect with Eric. He's um, been around for a long time. He's way up there go into different Facebook groups and find people who are where you're at so that you can connect and help build each other up and help each other grow. And that's going to be more valuable to your business than it is if you're going to try to connect with people who are way above you and, and where they're at. You'll be there someday. But for now, always stick with people that are right around your level in your area. 
Um, I want to end with a quote that Roberto ended his video with. Um, since I'm sharing his tips, I will share his ending quote. He said, a high tide raises all ships. So that's something to think about until we meet again next time. I hope these five tips were useful to you.